right, so boom. I realized that I never gave y'all an official um, house to my apartment. So I'm gonna take y'all on a little apartment tour right quick. This is my apartment. This is what you see as soon as you walk in and shit like that. Over there, we got the dog bed. Oh my girl, sometimes she be bringing her dog over here to stay and everything like that. Then over here, it's a, it's a bookcase, a bookshelf. Um, I'm in the anime. Uh, of course, I got the, the Hulk at the top. Got a little Christmas tree here on the side. I didn't really do too much Christmas decoration this past year. Just got little things around the house just to make it feel like Christmas. So I just ain't take it down. Uh, got a game controller, shit like that, man. It lights up at night. Pretty cool. Got the Scooby Doo and got the Scooby Doo dolls and everything like that. Man, I'm a big ass Scooby Doo fan. Big ass Scooby Doo fan. I'm gonna show y'all that in a second. Got Vegeta right here. Um, uh, Super Saiyan Blue. I got a little uh, uh, a Kazo camera. I got that a while back. Uh, I only used it a couple times, but kind of realized I wanted something bigger. Then over here we got, of course, I got a couple books that I be on. Uh, that I be on. Michael Todd. You know, Jesus listens. Uh, I be having those books, man, for inspiration. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Just to like, you know, uplift my spirits through the day and all that type of shit. But, oh, Lord, forgive me. But, um, yeah, then we got another camera down here. And then we got Goku down, down here at the bottom. So, you see, I'm trying to get back into my, like, you know, recording stuff. So I just try to get as much camera as I can. Then we, then we got here, this is just a little, a little chair just for decoration and all that type of stuff. Then I got my little shoe rack over here for when company comes over. Uh, but I tend to, I tend to have all my shoes, some of my shoes for my room, uh, spiral out here for whatever reason, but I don't be having company over that much. So, you know, it is what it is. I just use it for, use it for my space. You know, ain't no space in the room. I just bring it out here and I got a couple cords and stuff like that for where I be recording and stuff. This is the kitchen area. So this is my table and I have everything out at my kitchen table. Um, yeah, I'm gonna tell y'all a crazy story about my apartment and everything like that how i got it furnished and stuff like that then up here like i said big anime fan dragon ball z uh, my favorite anime is i like dragon ball z um one piece uh, i'm in the baki now too i'm in the baki like I, I love baki now man but uh this is my kitchen like you know a little more decoration and stuff like that up here you know my, i got my uh machine for like when i make my milkshakes and all that stuff like that these are my little snack corners I uh, got my stove. Here's my fridge. This is what's in my fridge right now. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Freezer and everything. Here you go. Them, them, them dinners and stuff like that. Them freezer dinners. The freezer dinners be hitting, man. But y'all sleep in them freezer dinners. Them freezer dinners can, they, they don't save me a whole lot of money. A whole lot of money. And this here is the living room. The living room. So that sign right there is on my last name. As y'all can see, it's got Scooby-Doo on it. Told y'all I'm a big Scooby-Doo fan. And here I got my tiny words. I got the mystery machine. Got Daphne. Uh, here's the little ottoman out here. I got my candles and stuff like that down there. There's my television. Uh, the prayer hands, the game over. Um, the faith over fear. The faith over fear of another plant. And like I say, I had a little Christmas decorations and stuff up here. I just ain't took them down yet. Another one of my plants. A couple more books and everything like that. Like I say, man, I just like to stay motivated. Here's Fred, Scooby, Velma, and Shaggy's right over here. I told y'all, I'm a big ass Scooby Doo fan. Big Scooby Doo fan. Love Scooby Doo. Been loving Scooby Doo since I was a kid. Then here we got the Grinch, Max. This here is the couch. Here's a couple more signs and stuff like that up there. Let your faith be bigger than your fear. I don't know why that's hanging down. I gotta put that back up. And you know, I got little birds and all that type of stuff like that. So you know what I'm saying? But yeah, this is my living room area. Um, this is my patio back here on the back. You know what I'm saying? I'm right at the top floor, so I get to see everything, get to see the view and everything like that. Then my car was sitting out right there. So you know, there's a dude sitting over there with his dog and everything. So yeah, the views and stuff like that be good at night, so. Uh, this is the guest bathroom right here. I really ain't did too much in the guest bathroom. Really ain't did too much. Just put a little stuff out there. Gotta get shower curtains and stuff like that. So, you know, my parents and people like that wanna come over, I can have something for them. So this is the washer and dryer area. Um, 
when I moved in here, the apartment at first, they did have washer and dryer here. But when I moved in and stuff like that, they didn't have washer and dryer in here. So, you know, I was kind of in a hurry to get an apartment and up everything. Um, the people that was holding my stuff and everything like that, they only gave me like a month. So, you know, if I had to, I had to wait three months in order to get an apartment with washer and dryer, but I didn't want to wait that long. So, here's the guest bedroom. Here's the uh, the bed, um, couple suitcases, dresser drawer. You know, this room is kind of for storage. You know, up until I get, you know, company coming over. Like I said, I don't have that much company that be coming over and, you know, but it's all good. Here's the closet. And then this speaker, this speaker right here, man. This speaker I won back at my last command. I won this like two, three years ago. I still not, I still haven't broke this out the box yet. Still haven't broke this out the box. But yeah, just a couple of my clothes hangers hanging around and stuff like that. But yeah, this is the guest bedroom. Now here comes my favorite part. Master bedroom. So this is what you see when you come in to my bedroom. Told y'all, Scooby-Doo, Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo, Shaggy, Mr. Machine Pillow. I got my hats hanging up there on the wall. Got a plant over there on the, on the dresser uh, thing. Got a couple of my wars, military wars over there. Um, got a couple of figures. Got, um, let's see what is this? I got Shaq, LSU. I got Vince Carter, UNC. Hey, love UNC, man. North Carolina to the fullest. Got my Scooby-Doo slippers. See, man, I told y'all. Told y'all I love Scooby-Doo. Oh, Scooby-Doo book bag. Told y'all. Told y'all, man. Scooby-Doo fanatic. And here's the other side of the room. I got the gaming chair. I got a couple of beanbag chairs that you can sit down in, everything like that. Um, I wasn't get a table put over here, but I just find myself, I'd be working on the couch or like at the kitchen table and stuff like that, so I didn't really wind up getting one. Um, here's the other side. Um, the TV right there, a couple of hats on the on the wall. Got a little hoop and stuff like that hung up over the TV. Backpack on the door. Uh, I will play ball on it, but you know I will shoot the ball and stuff like that. But the fan be in the way, and then you know if I shoot it, I make it. It's TV. Can't have it. Can't have that for sure. Here's my bathroom. The bathroom, bathroom setup. You no, know, I got all my personal stuff out there and everything like that, but y'all don't need to see that right now. Just showing y'all a little setup. And yeah, here's the closet. Closet, all my stuff. I gotta reorganize this stuff, man, so don't pay attention to the clutter. I gotta reorganize some of this stuff, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I know when I leave here and everything like that, it's gonna be a hassle because, you know, I love clothes. So, it's gonna be kind of a hassle. Here's the other side. Here's where my shoes and stuff is hanging up on the wall. This door can't kind of push back because it's hitting up against the, the dresser, drawer, dresser drawer. But here's my shoes, couple of my shoes that I got going. I'm not a, really a big shoe fanatic. I don't have that many shoes as I do clothes, but suitcases down there, you can't really see it. It's dark. Got my uniform up there. A um, couple more clothes hanging around in here. And yeah, man. Yeah. That's the view of the apartment right there. It's a two bedroom, two bathroom, so you know I'm happy with it. I'm definitely happy with it and everything. So you know I feel obligated, I feel blessed and everything like that. To you know, this is my this is my first time actually living on my own. Uh, and everything back when I was in Japan, I had a roommate, and then when I went to Everett, Washington, I had a roommate. So this is officially like my first time actually living alone and stuff like that. Oh shit, that went dark again. My bad. This is my first time actually living alone, so um was pretty ecstatic about it, pretty excited about it. Um you know living on your own can be challenging. You know, especially like if you know you're living by yourself and everything like that. But uh but yeah. So I keep turning these lights on man. Keep turning these lights on. I keep forgetting where most of everything is at. All right, so I'm gonna make this uh, short and sweet. I ain't gonna go too much in depth about it, but I'm gonna tell y'all like the, the backstory of how I got here. So 
did not want to come here but the upside of it though i had a family member who was stationed here i had a cousin who's stationed here she's in the air force so i told her i was coming boom you know i come home i come here and everything like that uh, she picked me up from the airport uh, I stayed with her for a couple for for a little while and everything like that until I could find me a place you know I found me a place and then, you know I didn't have any furniture in my place or the place I'm at now so you know I'm just I'm just walking around the apartment and you know I'm, I'm just praying to God like God I need this place furnished because like the money I was making in Everett like I'm not making nowhere near that here so I took a big plunge and stuff for that and like finance and stuff. So like I'm looking on sites, I'm looking on Wayfair. I'm like, the prices is crazy. I'm like, one couch would took up two of my paychecks. And I'm like, nah, I was like, I can't afford none of that. So I'm just sitting around an empty apartment and I'm just praying. I'm just praying to God, like God, like I could, I could already see my place furnished, but I was like praying. I was like, God, I was like, I need my place furnished. I'm like if anybody can do it it's you i was like you see how my finances are i'm like but i'm relying on you i'm depending on you so boom a couple weeks later my cousin she's up for orders and she got picked for orders but then she told me that she was selling her furniture online but she told me that i could have the furniture if i wanted it so you know at first i was skeptical about it i kind of didn't want it. i kind of wanted my own things and then I called my brother about it. My brother's like, well, he's like, boy, you stupid. He's like, get the furniture. He said, that's what you've been praying about. He said, that guy basically giving you furniture. So I was like, all right. I was like, how much you want for it? So in all, she was well, she was going to sell it to everybody else for like, you know, a good $3,000, $5,000 and stuff like that. Like, you know, she had some good pieces. But she gave me all that stuff for less than $500. That's including the couch. That's including the master bedroom bed, the uh, guest bedroom bed the the tv mount where the tv stand is sitting on uh the two bookshelves on uh, the on uh, the dresser that's in the guest bedroom the dresser that's in here i mean i got a i, I basically furnished my apartment for less than five hundred dollars and i was like whoa man i was like whoa i was like wait a minute i was like ain't no way i just furnished my apartment for less than five hundred dollars and i had to sit back and really just like thank god for that i was like okay it was like I'm here for a reason. I'm here for a reason. I, mean, I had a dream like it was a long time ago. It was like deja vu, uh, sort of, so to speak. I didn't know what the dream was, but like I said, what we have, so like what civilians would call this morning meetings, and we call it quarters. So we had quarters and stuff like that where everybody gets to come, like stand at the front. I get to tell you the schedule of the day, what's going on during the week or the month, and type of stuff like that, the events that's going on. So I'm standing up there, and all of a sudden, deja vu hits me. I was like, bro, I've been here before. Like I've been here before. I like I seen this before. And in my head I'm like, okay. I'm supposed to be here. Like I'm supposed to be here. Like everything that's done happened to me is lining up accordingly. I was like, I'm supposed to be here. Like God put me in a place like, you know, no family. He put me in a place where I did not want to go, where people was avoiding to go. It's like I'm in the state of Mississippi, so you know when I got orders here and I saw that I was going to Mississippi, I was like, first thing I thought was, oh, like you know, like back in the days, like the like the 1960s type stuff, like racism type stuff like that. So I was like, I did not want to come here at all. And my family and my mom and shit like that, she was they was petrified. They was praying and like you know hoping that you know that I didn't get to go there. But I was like, you know, I got orders, so I gotta go. And so, man, since I've been here and stuff like that, I can't lie, it's been a blessing. It's been an absolute blessing because I get to see God move in my life and everything like that. Like, cause I'm out here by myself. So it's like, I can rely on family. I can rely on different people to help me. But it's like, now that I'm out here, I can't rely on nobody like that. So it's like, I can't help but rely on God. I'm like, God allow me to get this apartment. He allowed me to get my place furnished. He blessed me with my dream car. So it's like the time that I've been out here, God has just been showing up and showing up. And then, you know, I'm recording now. I'm vlogging now. I like, I never thought I would do this. I'm like, cause like I said before, I'm an introvert. So it's like, you know, I would go to work, do my job, come home, sit down, watch TV, eat, just chill, go to the gym. That'd be my routine every day. But I was like, it wasn't fulfilling though. 
until like you know this this stuff just kept hitting my mind just hit my mind just hit my mind i was like you know what why not give it a try i'm like you're not doing nothing I'm like you're not doing nothing so you might as well give it a try and then you know i found peace i found like you know being happy and stuff like that over here and everything like that and go but i was like man i was like the place i didn't want to come to the place i didn't want to be in and stuff like that it's like you know my relationship with god has gotten better like you know beforehand i wasn't going to church like that now i found a church that i go to every sunday so i was like okay like i'm spending more time with god i'm sowing into him and he's sowing back into me so it's like man listen if y'all ain't tried god yet go ahead and try him go ahead and try him he will do things for you he's still doing things in my life that i cannot even even imagine he still ain't done with me yet this is only the beginning this is only the beginning. I'm excited to see where I'm going to be at this time next year. I'm excited to be where I'm, I'm excited to see where I'm going to be at this time next year. And trust me, this time next year is going to be epic. It's going to be epic. It's going to be real big. I'm telling you, it's going to be real epic and big for my life and everything like that. So you know, if y'all feel isolated, y'all feel in a place where like you know, like where you're alone, all that type of stuff like that, you're not. Trust me, you're not. And I ain't trying to get golly, I ain't trying to get preaching and stuff like that. I'm just giving advice and stuff like that. I'm just giving advice to like, you know, just just keep your head up, man. Just and just try God, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, just just pray and stuff like that. Cause we all ain't perfect. I'm not perfect. Like, you know, there's examples of people that God used in the Bible that wasn't perfect. Like, you know, was committing adultery, drinking. Like, you know, I still curse. I drink a little bit and stuff like that. But you know, I told God, I was like, hey, use me. I'm willing. Like I say, I ain't perfect and I ain't trying to be perfect. But I know what God got for me is bigger than what I can imagine. So it's like, you know, when it happens, I'm letting everybody know, hey, this ain't nothing but God right here. <laughs> I can't take credit for this. This ain't nothing but God right here. I just raise my hand and say, hey, I'll do it. And he's doing it. So, you know, but right now, yeah, I just wanted to show y'all the apartment, man. Give y'all a little, like, you know, motivation and stuff like that, man. That's kind of what I want to do with my vlogs and stuff like that. But, yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to pack out the stuff right now. And I'm about to head out and stuff like that. And... I'll check back in with y'all in a bit. Yeah, so right now, y'all, I'm on the way to the next. I got to grab a belt for uh for our pictures tomorrow and everything like that. So, yeah, that's on what I... time I come here I always walk out with some more stuff so hopefully I don't get no more stuff we'll see though fingers crossed <laughs> look at me getting off track anyway stay focused bro. stay focused stay focused stay focused See what I'm looking for. I don't see what I'm looking for. Yeah, they ain't even got the little small crows either for the E5s. They ain't even got them. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, the little small E5s, they ain't even got that. Yeah, they ain't got that. Yeah, so a lot of people gonna be looking out of. I know me for one. Uh, nope. Yeah, nope. <laughs> they got everybody else and shit except for. 
Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me check. I checked one side. I didn't check the other. Let me check the other side right there. Oh, never mind. I found them. I found them. They got the big one. Yeah. Hey! So I understand, friend. All right. Mm -hmm. You just need the big one. You need it. You want both the left and the right side, or just the one side? All right. This is what I was looking for. So one of these. One of these. Yeah, we straight. Sorry, I straight, no. No. You're laughing or crying over here. Baby laughing crying. I don't know. He's doing one or the other, but he want to cry for sure. Oh, that yellow shit, oh, that pink shit. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and check out these seats, check out these joints, and go ahead and head back to the house, man, because I'm hungry. I'm hungry as hell, but I'll check in with y'all later.